Welcome to today's episode of Keeping the Quality High Under Quarantine. We're going to show you how we fire up a grill after taking the season off, cook up a few burgers, and answer a few questions on the Q&A about composting. Alright, let's take a look inside the grill. We see there's a lot left over from last year, so what we want to do is remove the grates, and then it's going to expose more of where the flame comes out, and we want to clean all this up. All right, so now that we have everything off, we got our grills off, we have our heat dividers off, we want to give them a nice quick scrape. Scrape up all that oil, build up some last year. Check the inside. This grill's getting old, it's getting rusty, it's had its time, so we'll be moving on next year. Alright, now on the back of most of your typical grills, you'll find a little tray that you can pull out, and this will collect all the droppings that you can scrape off into the trash bin. Seems like we have a little piece that fell off, we'll figure out where that goes. Now we're just going to scoop off our grill tops. Hey now. All right, we found our problem is the connection flow of gas from each burner. Um, I can't fix it, but I'll do my best to jerry-rig it. And hopefully, that will help carry the flame through to light up all burners. All right, so now we're just finishing the assembly and the reassemble on our grill. We want to put it together, but we want to leave the middle burner so we can light it up in just a few minutes after I go wash my hands. All right, now let's talk propane. Very serious, highly flammable. You always just want to make sure that your seal is tightly sealed and you have an uh, up-to-date um, propane tank. That's breaking the seal. All right, now let's see if our grill will take flame. There we go. All right, now we got all four burners lit. Let's let this grill get nice and hot. Quick chef secret. Get a nice paper towel with some olive oil or a dirty towel and just brush down the grate. I'm going to let that cook off for about 10 minutes to let the, the grill base get nice and hot. Stop. Alright, let's try that again. Hi. I wanted to talk compost, answer a few questions that I had regarding our last video. Uh, we had a question on how does the compost get started, or what do you need to start a compost. This compost goes back about four years. We use some stakes and just some fencing, and we would layer it with leaves and grass trimmings and have some fruit, some leftover greens, anything in the kitchen scraps can go in here. As a matter of fact, I have some right here. So simply we just add our chicken to our compost, our scraps. If you got any grass clippings, you want green, you want brown, it's going to create nitrogen, some oxygen you want in there. Keep a nice leaf bag you had from the fall, you can always add that in. 
and you want to turn the compost. You don't have to do it every day. You don't have to do it every five minutes. But I say a few times a week. You just want to turn it. You don't want any raw material sitting on top because it's going to bring in some bugs or flies. So you want to avoid adding in any raw meat, raw fish. Just stick to all natural composting material, cardboard, paper. All that is good to add in as a bottom layer. And continue to layer these over the, the month. Let the sun bake on it and it will give it nice heat and it will help break down and give you this nice color you see here in your compost. We like to sift our compost out and add it into our flower beds, add it into our um, gardening bed. A lot of things you can add it to your house plants. You can add it into your indoor plants. Um, a lot of good things you can reuse this for. Uh, one thing I do want to say, if you find any worms, they just come naturally. Um, so you can pick them out, add them right into your garden and give nice healthy nutrition. Um, you can pick up these bins. This bin right here is just a big moving bin. We drilled some holes into it. Yep, that's not sure. We drill some holes into it. We have a cover we lay over it. We drilled holes into that so it can breathe and have some airflow going through there. And that's pretty much it. You can just leave it be and it'll kind of do its thing. Um, and just give it a little love. You know, one other question I have is, is there an odor? There's only an odor if you're doing something wrong, if you're adding in something that you shouldn't be, or um, if you're not turning it enough. Um, it could be having a layer on top that's building up. You just want to turn that in. Um, I hope that answers a few, a few questions. Uh, if not, leave them in the comments below. We got everything cooking nice. We just turned over our burgers, dripping with juices, handmade patties, some nice grilled corn, and we got our nice vegetable saute with red and white cabbage, peppers, onions, kale, sauteed up nicely. Thank you for being awesome. Joining me on another episode of keeping the quality high under quarantine. We got these burgers close to the temperature we like them. We're gonna throw some cheese on them. A nice color to our corn. Hope you enjoyed this episode. Hope you found it informative. If you got something, say something at the bottom of the comments. Until next time, keep the quality high.